Hello everyone, my name is Notepad Anon, and I write games for fun. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to attempt, anyway, to actually wrap up Morons with Pedigrees right here. And if I don't speak a whole lot, it's because I got caught out in the rain today, and my I'm, a, I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I wanted to get this stream done. I wanted to get everything in and finish up this game, which... Over time, I've begun to realize this game is a little bit odd in, in a few ways, but I'll go over that as I'm writing things down. So, reaching the desired end. There's the kid. Made. In the situation presented, the players are free to do as they wish to find, uh, free to do as they wish to influence, influence, maneuver, and plot to to reach their desired ending. 
how do, how does actually um how but how do how do the players and characters how do actually the the players and characters I remember to capitalize this how how do the player the players and characters influence influence the ensemble I'm drinking some maple blueberry tea to help my throat out a little bit I don't have corona god I'm not that interesting but I'm just like ugh Characters influence the ensemble and the main character. Characters have have three methods of gaining. Uh, what did I end up calling this? Uh, gaining plot power and reducing others. Plots, intrigue, actually plots, duels, and influence. Plots. A plot is when a number of char characters attempt to pool their points, to pool their plot power together. To make an event occur. Often this requires a large amount, large amount of plot power that a singular character, actually a single character or small set of characters cannot achieve without assistance. When plotting, when plotting, characters will need to make compromises. Need to make compromises with other members of the ensemble. Cutting deals with enemies or even introducing entirely new characters to the fold. This does mean that they'll need to spend their own plot power to begin introducing more characters into the web. Into the web. Duels. Traditionally speaking, actually, what I should do is and we want to make a, a minor plot, major plot, uh, actually petty plot, minor plot, major plot, um, let's, let's be a, bit, a bigger one than a major than um, extreme, that doesn't seem right, extreme seems like a really bad word for this. Um, da, 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 da. let's check chat. Absolutely no one's here, but I'm not terribly surprised because it's a very dull day. Uh, petty minor. Oh, hello, phone. Important plot. A decisive pl plot power. Plot power required. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Sands, 12. Come on, come on. Oh, go, go, oh my gosh. Oh my god. god. Google, please. Plot power required. And your column right. We're going to extend this pretty far. Example. Hide a, hide a gift, gift from another character. Uh, shifting resources across the court. Isolating a, a member of the ensemble. Provoking a murder of an ensemble member of one of the ensemble. Ensemble and banishing a member of the ensemble. It's weird. The more I actually write about this game, the more I realize it's not. It's hard to even call it like a full-on legit tabletop RPG. It's more of a roleplay adjacent game. It's kind of an odd one to address, but uh, larger plots require more members and more members. Members of conspiracy obviously means more individuals will be willing and able to betray the cause. certain members of the ensemble to be a part of it. A character cannot poison another's food. Food without access to the kitchen. So a servant, so a servant or a cook is needed to needed to be a need to be 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 a part of the plot. Larger plots may may engage with with entire factions inside of the court. States inside of the entire states. 
with large chunks of resources dedicated to keeping the military, the church, or even the bureaucrat, or the, or the servants in line. reminds me hmm. I'm gonna write a side Side note, the stats other larger factions. There are groups of people that are so large it's difficult to fully Fully cover. So large it's difficult to fully cover every single member of that group. These are called these are called states. Can be added just, just like other members of the ensemble. Relationships in the ensemble. Not player character, they are entity control. A lot about them. When the game begins, the storyteller will create a main character who serves as the focal point of the story. This is not a player character, they are an entity controlled by the storyteller that every every that every care member of the ensemble has some bit of investment. Creating mem members of the ensemble. Each, each, each character is created and must be connected to a previous character in the web. Uh, however, every step will receive less plot power directly tied. Da -da 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 -da. And I just like other members of the ensemble. They only have while they cannot be directly controlled. They do have the, a character that's a member of the ensemble have a member of the ensemble. That serves as a representative. If they are in... The... The representative... I'm misspelling everything here. I promise I'm not drinking. Uh, this representative... Is the face of the group, but can be replaced if the group feels it is, it is necessary. Representative, representative. So in this, an estate might be the church, and a clergy member might be the, the face of that estate. So that's kind of the how that works, how we plan on having it work anyway. There's entire estates with large chunks of resource dedicated to keep the military, the church, with servants in line. 
as long as when the plot has amassed enough plot power enough plot power to be to be enacted all characters inside of the plot inside of the plot invest one of their plot power into making sure it works into it. From there, the characters must move forward, must move forward with the plot, or lose the investment. Success. Success of the plot will mean Meaning that the characters receive their receive their plot power back, as well as having the main goal succeed. If the if the characters fail during this time, they permanently lose permanently lose the plot power, unless every kit every character in the plot spends another mm. losing plot power actually a plot power and the plan unravels So pretty much what a plot is, at its fundamental core, it's you have to get together a bunch of members of the ensemble, you have to create members of the ensemble, you have to make sure that everyone's kind of clicking together to make sure this plan works. And if your plan works, great! Everything works out as planned. However, there's a chance things don't work out. And if things go wrong, if you hire the cook to poison the man and suddenly his best friend kind of knows what's going on, yeah, no, that's bad. And suddenly your plan becomes a rebel and everyone kind of suffers for it. A character may stumble upon, stumble upon a plot in progress. There is it. Actually, no. Instead, the battle of wits, wits, resources, and power of two char of two characters, uh, two members of the ensemble, 
against one another. A dual tick. When a duel is called, the challenge challenger will be be the one determining their initial bet. Uh, when, the, when a duel is called, the character the characters will decide will decide on what the duel will actually be. Some are violent. Others are others are simply debates. Debates or uh, or attempts to win over win over others. Regardless, the, char the characters must choose what they are, what they are betting. For example, in a classic pistol duel, in a classic pistol duel, both char both characters are risking their lives. Both characters risking their lives. Along with their plot power, plot power to go against one another. Whoever shoots first, whoever shoots first and spends the most power, wins. However, in a duel of wits, two K. Two characters, actually, in a duel of influences, characters, characters may engage in a heated debate to change one another's opinion. Another's opinion on a matter. In this contest, contested duel of. This contested duel, both characters will need to roll off with their, it would be, with their phlegm, to roll, actually roll with, roll with their phlegm to oppose one another. Victor changing the opinion of the other or claiming the moral high ground. Characters will always have to bet something of value. However, wily, wily individuals will bet what they can lose, while others will gamble everything, gamble everything for a chance at victory. Influence. The members of the ensemble ensemble are a precious lot. A 
righteous are a band of fools and it fools and socialites able, able to bend and twist each other around their fingers and any time a character may choose to attempt to influence another character to influence another character Trying to either add an opinion, either add an opinion, change an opinion, or remove an opinion. Opinion from another character. Remember the the character the character attempting to influence influence another will have to we'll have to see what they have the character attempting to influence another will have to see what connections that member of the ensemble possesses character with for each connection character actually character will spend to freshly add an opinion Opinion of opinion for um, from to so fresh to add a fresh opinion opinion in relation add a fresh relationship add a add a relationship That a fresh relationship will have to spend a number of plot number of plot power. Uh, number want to spend plot power equal to the num equal to the steps away the character is from the one being influenced. You know what time this means? It means we get to bring up our handy dandy uh, pink dot net. Uh, let's bring that circle. Let's bump it up to five. What did I use last time? I used Corbell. Bump it up to 18, we'll call it 1. Uh, let's do 26. Oh, too small. 28. 
36. and then we'll call you six and then uh, using the above example if five wanted to influence six to add a relationship to add a relationship with them they would have to spend two plot power. They would have to spend two plot power. Four to six. If five, if five wanted to, to add a relationship with six and three, uh, with six, uh, we'll do four and two. Actually, four and one. They would need to spend. So let's see. It would be, yeah, spend three, four, three, two, one. Yeah, no, three, two, one. And then spend three plot power. This is also suggesting that the character is open to have to having the relationship. The relationship be changed. Open to having the relationship. Convincing, convincing two people to act, to actually chat to one another. No, there's one thing, but trying to convince two men who, to, who hate each other, two men, two men to fall madly in love, is very different is different actually I should say convince two people to fall madly in love is different and we want to put influence right here this is what I mean by it's kind of a weirdly role-playing adjacent game because the more I find myself working with this game the more I do these little bits of information with it and just work with it endlessly the more I quickly begin to realize that it's kind of an odd duck at points as it just has a lot of little weird bits to it. And that was the only really way I could do this. That was the that was the interesting thing, because I could have tried to do like a burning wheel system, but it didn't really fit the game, what I was going for. It wasn't a game about doing things things there's a game about being in a social situation so you end up in a weird cyclical I am in a, a humorous situation where I must now do a thing to be in a social situation but it's also it's a very confusing game I've the more I realize also I just realized that uh, twitch didn't bother saving the, the title I changed it to um, Happily. There we go. Donnie. Okay, changed it back. Alright, I'm very confused. Twitch, what are you doing? Twitch, please. 
I don't pay, I don't pay, actually, I don't pay you anything, Twitch. Maybe this is just karma, who knows? Let's check Discord, because Discord's been on fire recently, and everything's on fire. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a, just a man who drinks his tea. Yeah, there's the tea. I didn't let it sit long enough. Ugh. Feels like I'm eating a piece of bacon. Oh, uh, let's see. Convincing two people to actually chat to one another is one thing, but trying to convince two people to fall madly in love is different. Put a picture there, and what we can do next is change relationship. If the character, if the characters, actually what I should do is, there you go. If the character, if the character wishes to change the relationship, they shall ship between two between two characters they will need to spend plot power they will need to spend plot power equal to the number of individuals uh, How do I want to do this? Because pretty much what this would one would be is being like, effectively, you want to change this relationship. Like, oh, hey, these two hate each other, but now you like each other. Or, hey, you and this person are secretly lovers. I know you guys are secretly lovers. Change your relationship now to ex-lovers or something. Um, adding it was pretty easy, because just like, where are you in the grand scheme of things? This one's a little bit more complex, and I don't know how to do the math on it. Uh, plot power equal to... Five, 10 minus connections. Pretty much the more connections you have with someone, it's easier to change the relationship with someone. Yeah. Let me... A change relationship between two kids. They will need to spend ten. Spend ten minus. Characters relationships. Ten minus characters relationships in plot power. To attempt such a feat. Akin to. Uh, adding a relationship. A character, some relationships cannot be sim simply changed that easily. Two ex lover, two ex lovers will remain ex ex lovers. Uh, actually, two siblings will remain siblings regardless of the situation. But two siblings who hate each other may come around to actually liking one another. At the end of this, I'm effectively going to have to put a point of saying some relationships will naturally change. Uh, just be a role playing. That that's just kind of a this is a much more mechanical way of doing it. And this entire section is a very mechanical way of you want to change someone's relationship with somebody else. And you should be doing this between characters that are not player controlled, one. Or if they are player controlled, you're pretty much influencing someone else to do something else for someone. 
So two siblings remain siblings regardless of the situation, but two siblings who hate each other may come around to actually liking one another. Two lovers will find it difficult without damning evidence to break it up, break it off with each other. Best, best friends will rarely, will rarely separate unless something drives a wedge in between them. There has to be, there has to be an inciting factor to change the relationship. Slap a picture right there, then we'll do our last one. Finally, if a character chooses to sever a relationship with another character, they must expend 10, 10 minus, uh, no, that's not, 10 minus, Scroll to my example. Hmm. 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 Oh God. Ow. Oh God. Welcome to welcome to uh, the wonderful world of Notepad, where he breaks all his bones because he's a fat bastard, and uh, that's what he does. Oh gosh! Okay, finally, the character chooses to sever a relationship with another character. They must expend ten minus. No, I would say five plus steps away from them. Steps away. Ten plus steps away. Plot power to attempt such a, such a feat. Severing a relationship. Using the example above, Let's scroll down. Using the example above, if six wanted to sever four, actually one and two's relationship, they would need to expend six. Six uh, plot power to do such. Five. They need is six plot power. Five plus one because six to two. No, it's not two to one. No, that's not right. It would be no, six to two. Is one step is one step. It looks been six plot power to attempt to sever to to break off the relationship. If all of a if all of a member the ensemble. Okay, if all of the relationships, a member of the ensemble, mm, 
Max's vestas are severed, willingly or not, they are removed from play until an, until they form another relationship. So what does this mean in practice? So what this means in practice is that this is a way to sever off characters that don't need to exist anymore from the web. So let's say two brought in one, using my little example here. Uh, two brought in one for a plot. They have done nothing and they don't serve any purpose anymore. And, but you don't really want them there because they might influence something later on. Let's say they're like a cook or something that poisoned you know, the main character. Severing that relationship is a good way to make one go away. So you don't have to deal with them anymore. They're gone unless someone else spends the plot power to bring them in. In again, so that's kind of the you pretty much are forming a relationship with them, unless it happens naturally. And that's one of the big notes I have to put down here. Uh, they remove from play until they form another relationship. Uh, unless they form another relationship. Uh, parentheses. If all the relationships ever they all the possessions are severed, really, they remove from play. is not severed when when a character is murder is murdered or killed uh, yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put X there and put you there One, since one no longer has any relationships, ding, ding. they are removed from play. Character relationship is not severed when a character character's relationship is not severed. Ding, ding. Hello, phone. If their connection is murdered or killed. Murdered, the uh, dead character remains, but as a memory, unable to be successfully killed. Killed until they are forgotten. Forgotten in history. So, what is that little last rule? <laughs> Hi phone, okay, I'm gonna answer you now. Hello, what, what what do you need? Oh yeah. Okay, let me turn I think I'd be more professional when I'm doing this, but nah. Uh bit. For those curious, that's my mother trying to text me as she wants to know how my uh, peanut sauce I made tonight went. It was pretty good, actually. I don't usually cook that much because I have a terrible sense of cooking, but I actually made myself peanut sauce with noodles. It was very good. A bit thicker than I planned, but still good. But as I was saying, the, the relationship pretty much not being, not being killed, it's hard to kill a character or have their influence be 
gone permanently. If a character, say, is shot and killed, they're still around until all the relationships around them have been severed. Only then do they full be fully are they fully removed. It's at that point a character, you know, it's a, it's the memory of the character. Everyone's like, oh, I feel so sad. He was de he was my best friend, and now he's dead. And you still have ties to them, and you don't want to leave them, and it's hard. <laughs> That's kind of the problem: is that you want to keep them around but you can't keep them around because they're obviously gone. They have no way to defend themselves from having all the relationships severed, but it's the, the, the process of severing the relationship changes. It's the move on. You would have wanted that. You know, you're, a, you're a good person. Move on from your you know, fallen husband that I may or may not have murdered. Or, you know, or hey, you know, this person is it's dead. You can finally drop your hatred of them. They're gone. And it's like, oh, yes, my, my vengeance has been completed. And then they vanish into thin air. So, again, the goal is to keep the people you want around while eliminating those you don't want. Manu political maneuvering. And let's see. Uh, now we're going to add the big scary side note. So what I'm going to do with that is because I'm going to put a picture there. This is going to be a side note at the very end. A side note on narrative. Ultimately, ultimately speaking, more on, uh, NWP is a game about role playing. Role playing a bunch of aristocrats. Doing aristocrat aristocrat things. There will be points where the characters make choices, say things, or in or react in a fit of passion, and things go wrong. People get hurt. Feelings are hurt. People get killed. Actually, people get killed. Feelings are hurt. Love blooms. And chaos reigns. That's fine. These, these mechanics... These mechanics are for a macro play. The moments of dealing with large swaths of characters, or tense moments between between A and between A and B, Allow, allowing characters characters to use their plot power to influence the world. The best way to compare is gambling. Is gambling. Is like a game. Uh, actually, like a game of chess. Character with more plot power. Power has more pieces. More time to think, and generally, more maneuverability. Ability than one with less pieces. But, good moves, tricky gambits, and a good head can lead to a can lead to a victory for, for the one with less. Play the characters. Have them make mistakes. Let them thrive in the environment in the environment environment created by the story by the storyteller. Let 
let them prune prune characters they dislike. And finally, let them do as they will. Let them do as they will. No exterior influences. No problems. No mind control. Just morons with a pedigree and an ego. Edgo. <laughs> Side note, we want to insert a table right there. So we are 17 pages in, and I need to ask Stora plot power. I'm gonna apply for their ambitions. page right here uh regaining plot power new the growth and loss of plot power as the as the characters grow Grow and change, so will their importance to the story. Character will begin play. Begin play with a set amount. Plot, plot power dependent on where they stand with the main character. This rarely stays the same. A character can gain character can gain plot power by by participating in scenes with the main character and influ and influencing the life around around them, participating in plots, influencing characters, and even dueling, that's the, char that's the character a single plot power every time they are successful, while they may have to, may have to spend plot power at the end actually what I can say at the end of every the end of every session the characters total up the amount of plot amount of influence they have had during the story. Plots participated in, characters influenced, char characters or duel, dueled, all factor in, factor into the characters 
overall plot importance. At the start of next session, the character's plot power increases by the number of steps by their default amount. So if a character possesses possesses two plot power at the end of a session, Here actually. Being part of being part of a plot. power being part of a successful plot plus one plot power succeeding in a duel plus one plot power Influence, influence, uh, influence character point plus point five, actually point two five plot power, actually point uh, point two five times steps from MC plot power. Uh, we're going to do uh, insert. Actually, plus two five. Uh, we're going to do so if it's point two five. So if we're doing four steps away from the p character, it would be technically one plot power. So if you're directly influencing, it would be one point seven five. I can see I can see it in my head what this looks like and it's driving me insane that I can't vocalize that. So pretty much let's say uh MC is here and then we have one, two, three, four, five. MC obviously is would be one plot power point two five actually point seven five Point five zero, point two five zero. So uh, one minus one minus point two five for each each step away from MC. Plot power with footnote influencing the MC equals one plot power influencing a character five steps away from the MC equals zero plot power. Then actually I'll do three steps away, it would be 0.25 five plot power. Power, and then comma rounding down. Important scene with MC plus one plot power. Uh, okay, moving.
moving closer to the MC. Plus one plot power. Uh, this is only the start of the plot and does not stack for subsequent sessions. A narrative, ultimate speaking, blah 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 blah. Simplify, simplify my rambling. A character can do any of the above without spending any plot power, but just role playing. You don't have to spend plot power. Nothing says you have to. The problem is, is that it makes things a hell of a lot easier. And then we're going to... Uh, just as a character can gain importance, they can quickly lose it. Char character can either sacrifice or have their plot power plot power taken from them from them in duels or during or bad events. Being on the edge of social hierarchy is both a boon and a problem. And how do we, and we may ask, how do we lose plot power? Adding a new member of the ensemble. Let's see, plot power. Injured non fatally. Negative one plot power. Being made a fool of. Negative one plot power. Being neglect. Being neglected. So effectively, it's. Hmm. Being injured, not 
fatally. Being the target of the plot. Negative one. Negative one plot power. Difficulty of plot per difficulty of plot. Of social hierarchy. If a character is ever reduced to zero plot power, they are still a part of the ensemble, but their value and use are drastically decreased. Because remember, if you want to be part of a plot, you have to put in, you have to put in power. It's it's an investment. Like if you have no plot power, you don't, you aren't actually useful to anyone. So no one's going to want to include you. So you, it's hard to get more plot power, and thus you kind of end up in a cyclical sense of well, I I've died, but not really. <laughs> So, let's see, we've got all of this, we have how to regain plot power, we have ways to lose plot power, we have duels, we have plots. I feel like I'm missing something around here. I don't know what it is, it's going to drive me insane. don't know. Well then. Mm. I feel like I wanted to add a side note, but I don't remember what I wanted to add it about. Eh, who cares. I'll think about it probably in the middle of the night. But, what does this actually mean? This means, for all intents and purposes, Morons with Pedigrees is actually done. Now, this is actually one of my shorter games, only coming out to 3,850 words. Uh, but I went into this knowing it wouldn't be terribly long. Now, I, I've said this a few times throughout the stream, that I feel like this game is a roleplay adjacent game. Now, my biggest issue with a lot of social games in general that deal with social things as kind of a paramount issue is that it's usually not paramount, <laughs> if that's kind of a, a way to the word it. 
And that was one of the things, because I actually, look, I, I asked some people, like, hey, fun, give me, like, some of the best social systems you can in the game. Give me the best social systems. And it was funny, because people would give me, like, oh, well, here's Exalted, here's Burning Wheel, Legends of Wulin. And it was funny, because I looked at all of these, and I realized that the relationships are a extension of the character. Not the game. And that, that was one of the reasons why I made this game. Is to build a game entirely from the ground up. Where the concept of relationships is not only the most important part of the character. It is the most important part of the character. It's the thing that makes the character function. And I think I, I've done that to some degree. I enjoy the ideas I've put on here. It's one of those things where I could probably add more. I could probably do a lot more with this idea, but I decided to keep it simple and focused. Nice and simple, nice and easy, nothing too complex, nothing too uh, bizarre. And I didn't really want it to be uh, bizarre or wacky or weird or anything. I wanted it to be fairly grounded in its own way. And I, the theme didn't really soak through as much as I would want it to. Mostly in character creation does the theme really kind of bite into you. But it's one of those things where you can picture how this game runs. And I can see how it is working. How all the points and how all the, the numbers and how, how it functions. And overall, I can see it working. Working well is something completely different. But I, like I do with a lot of my, a lot of the things on the Sprug Workshop, I'm not doing it for, because I want to make the next great American great game. I'm doing it because I want to see if something works. I want to see if there's a concept that I can use, that there is an idea somewhere out there that I feel like using. And I think I did it with this game. I think it's a it's an interesting concept and I think actually playing this out with the right group. That's what I was going to say. I was going to do a one shot uh, side note on one shots, but okay, I'll, I'll do that after this. You play it with the right group, with the right people, you can actually get a really solid fun game out of it, I think. It would be simple, mind you. It would be real simple. It would be real basic, real not complex in the slightest. But that's not the point of this game. The game isn't about being complex. It's about being telling a story involving a main character that's not controlled by the players. It's a game about... Fundamentally speaking... The game is about, fundamentally speaking, role-playing out situations with a bunch of morons with high degree with high pedigrees being high class social idiots and fighting with each other to make more things happen. That's what it's about. It's about fighting with each other and about bickering and about trying to reach your desired end. But finding that desired end is hard. Because everyone has a different idea what that ending should be. What the main character should do. What, who they should end up with. who, How they die. If they die. Why. And all everything going into it. That's the interesting part. That's the part that, that gives us a big old big think. That's the fun of it, isn't it? Making a game that is fundamentally about something like this. It's odd. It's weird, but that's what I do in the Sprug Workshop. I make games that are weird and odd for my own p viewing pleasure. But uh, what's in the future? I think that's a that's a question I should a I should ask the masses, or more tell you because I already have the answer. But well, I'm gonna get the pictures and everything put in here to make it nice and pretty like. But 
if I scroll all the way up. I'll close you because I don't need you anymore. And open up the discardo. And spread workshop. So effectively, I have I, I've decided to actually embrace a somewhat of a schedule. I know. Wacky, right? And my with morons and pedigrees done. I'm actually going to edit this message and remove it. I have made my way to the second project of, of this little list. It is, I'm going to be attempting to make a game called Project Cat Y, based off a friend of mine's request. And my friend's a big ol' weeb and should not be trusted, but she asks for a game about cat girls. As the fundamental pitch of the game. The fundamental idea behind it being the term cat girls and i thought about it for a while and i thought about redoing catastrophe which is a game about well anime cat girls swimming in the ocean but we don't catastrophe is an interesting game but i thought about it i debated on it i it's hmm It's odd, say, to be honest, because I thought about making it a Beastman game, like a game based around being Beastman, because that's been a debate on TG for a while, how to do Beastman right, and no one else is doing Beastman right, and Beastmen are also a kind of a weird one, because obviously everyone wants... Everyone has a different idea when I say the word beastman. Some people see a minotaur, other people see a big titty anime girl with horns on her head. Where both are right in their own way, both are wrong in their own way, depending on how you view things. So that's might be what I do with Project Catline. I will I will actually ask her. Be like, give me more information. What do you want from this? This is your game. What do you need? What do you want? And I'm curious to see what she wants if she gives me anything or maybe i'll just start poking around and see what other people are looking for but as of right this moment morons with pedigrees is complete thank you all for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day godspeed and good luck